<laughs> what up, film fans? It's your favorite host here, Fania Thomas. <laughs> Today I sat down with the cast of DC and Warner Brothers, The Batman. Now listen, I saw the film last night, and yes, it's almost three hours, but it doesn't feel like three hours. It moves fast, so you don't feel like you're a captured audience. So that's one note. I'm gonna give you my review, no spoilers. For you comic book fans, now there are a few scenes that get real comic booky in the precinct. Wink, wink, I won't give away too much. And also there's a hallway fight scene in the dark, but there's flashes. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Those scenes to me feel real comic booky, so look out for that. And speaking of the precinct scene, once you guys see this film, how did they not take off Batman's mask sooner? I just knew it was coming off. I was clenched to my seat. I definitely would have been one of the police officers that took his mask off, no lie. <laughs> When it comes to the costumes, it's not over the top. It's very subtle and cool and chill. My favorite scene, it may sound really odd and weird, it's the funeral scene. It's hands down one of the best scenes ever. I literally screamed out, not the killer on FaceTime, like how? <laughs> it's so good, it's performed well. Cinematically, it looks great. It's got some good stunts, got some intensity. <laughs> Look out for that. The film is cinematically clever. It has some Saw and Seven vibes. Pattinson Sands are gonna love his grunge, hopeless, moody, Nirvana vibe. Colin's costume is done well and done right. The only way I noticed him was through his eyes. So that's a costume well done. I love the play with shadows and lighting and the technique. Oh, and I love the muscle car. I love the Batmobile. It's really thrilling. <laughs> So that's my take, but sit back, relax, and get ready to hear what the stars of the film have to say about their most thrilling scenes, what they learned about each other, and how they put their own spin on the characters. <laughs> Check it out. The Riddler is in one of my favorite scenes. The funeral scene when the killer's on FaceTime. I like, I know I'm not supposed to be laughing, but I thoroughly enjoyed that moment. I was just like, this is it. So thank you for that. Um, All right, I'm happy to hear that, thanks. <laughs> the ingredients uh, first came from the script and Matt Reeves wrote a script that honestly totally surprised me and blew me away. And I felt so fortunate that I might get the chance to not only be in a Batman film, but one that I thought could be maybe something really good. Um, uh, the first thing that Matt and I talked about was how Batman is born of trauma from his parents' death, and and maybe in this film, so is is the Riddler. So that was the the, the very first emotional ingredient uh, that uh, any sauce was made out of. What was the most thrilling scene to film? Day two was my first uh, kill, so that kind of really helped kind of sink things in, friend. <laughs> I, I, the, 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 there's a diner scene that I was looking forward to for a long time and uh, that was a really fun night because the set was just so incredible. Uh, the back lot that they had built, I loved that moment. For me it was, the, it was the first day, it was you know the first scene that we shot. We did some smaller stuff prior to principal photography and the first day was the scene that we've seen in trailers of uh, Batman and Gordon walking into this crime scene with the cops gathered around and, and the forensic technicians and all of that. And so that was, I mean, I, I loved that one because it was our first day, but I also loved it. There's something thrilling, I think, about this discovery, the discovery for those in the room and the audience of this relationship between Gordon and Batman. And there's also um, what I really dug about it, and it was the thing that was in my head when I first read the script, is that it, um, it doesn't take for granted our perspective on the characters, particularly on the Batman. But it asks questions about his strangeness that I think are really healthy and, 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 and allow us to further ground ourselves into the truth of, of these stories. So that was, that was really, that was very, very, very cool first day. What have you learned about one another since this whole experience started? Oh, we haven't been asked that question. No. 
Uh, Good. When? I actually did a did a play together some years ago. When was that? Was like six, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Do um, you still have that pickup truck? Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course I do. Right. Of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. I loved seeing. Uh, I think when one of your kids visited. Uh, I think your daughter was there at one point. Mm -hmm. It was great to see her. Oh, yeah. Growing up. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, we were out on the grounds, wandering the ground. Well, we hoped you all were entertained <laughs> or maybe learned a little something new about one of your favorite actors. Now, we have to have a whole discussion about this film. So once you guys have seen it, come back and let's have a conversation. Did you like the bat car? Did you like the bat suit? Did you like Catwoman? What did you think about the penguin? What did you think about Rob's the Batman? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. Also, are you guys interested in the spinoff film that's coming and the TV series? I need to hear from you. I need to know what you think. I'm excited, but I wanna know if you guys are excited. So after you've seen the film, come back. Let's have a conversation in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe because we're gonna be dropping interviews all week long and you don't wanna miss out on those interviews. <laughs> See you on the next one.